Hey there, my friends. It's me, Lori Sunatherda. I was going to try and keep this short. I just saw a really cool um, Shots of Awe video, and it talked about your passion and your purpose. And it reminded me, threw me back into college when I was taking philosophy and learning about the Venn diagrams. And what it boils down to is writing down all the things that you're really curious about. Now, I'm telling you, I have so many things that I'm curious about that it took me quite a while. And I'm a person that asks why and a person that wonders. And I have people tell me I just like way think too much and stuff like that. So it took a lot of time for me to write, you know, things that I was curious about. But the things that were really importantly curious or there was a few, pick three, right? And those three things really, um, they really jumped out at me. That's the word, jumped out at me. And as you draw those, you'll find that within those passions, there's something, those Venn, you know, you connect the Venn diagrams and there's that sweet spot in the middle, the spot that's clarity, the spot that you, you know, want to get to in, in your business, in your life, where you're clear on exactly what your passion is. And then as you write down um, challenges that you know of in the world, there are plenty that we don't know, right? Uh, as you write down the challenges in the world and things that you know that that you want to be maybe a problem solver in, you want to make a solution for, well, those things will fit right in to that sweet spot. Uh, figure out which one of those challenges, that that area in your life, that passion that you're you're all about, will will actually correct or help with, and then you've got your purpose and your passion together. And my friend, when you have that, that's like. There's nothing better than some, than a soul on fire, right? There's nothing more powerful. And so, pre but preparation precedes that power. So you've got to be prepared. And this is one way to prepare. A lot of times we, we think, oh, that's going to take too much time for me to uh, sit down and write all this out. But it ends up being like sharpening the saw, you know, rather than take a really um, dull saw or ax to a tree. Uh, you can cut your time, start sharpen for four hours and cut the time that it would have taken you to cut that darn tree all day to really a minimal amount of time. So my friend, sharpen that saw. Take the time uh, that you deserve to figure out what is your passion, what is your purpose, and why are you here so that you can move forward in clarity and be sharp about moving forward so you can be excited so you can have that energy because energy people say oh you've got so much energy well the energy doesn't just come the energy isn't just there it doesn't just bubble out of me uh, although sometimes I feel it does I guess it does sometimes we have that happen to us but for the most part you've got to generate it so and I know it's there for you when you just start to be grateful about the things that are around you there's so much I'm sitting in this beautiful valley actually if you were sitting here you would hear all the bees the bees are like humming there's just so many of them because we've got this alfalfa that's in bloom all around the valley here and around me it's like purple and dark purple and yellow and it's really cool and, and so it's it's uh it's kind of neat they kind of moved away from me i think maybe because they realized it was a person sitting here so they it was more loud when i sat down and they kind of moved away maybe i'm making too much noise but anyway i wanted to get that out to you and tell you how much i love you and how much i believe in you i know you can do this and i know you can move forward in a purpose-filled way living a purpose-filled life and you absolutely deserve it and um, go out there and just make it a great day. And I'll look forward to seeing you at MajesticMastery.com or check me out on Facebook at Lori Sue and the Third. I'll look forward to seeing you there too. Make a great day. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.